Hello, my name is Jonas and welcome back to another Figment tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make these four-way gestures. So it means that we can have four different di directions that we can uh, swipe the prototype. Uh, and here I have a simple example where you can swipe uh, horizontally uh, into any direction and then swipe up for details. And even from the details pages you can swipe within the pages and then swipe down and dismiss. So, let's go. Okay, so let me just quickly walk you through the setup we have here today. So, we have the intro screen, which you see here, and there are no uh, navigation set up yet, but we are about to set, up, set them up in a second. Uh, and then we have like a model, which is split up into four different screens like so and each screen has uh, a few like their own details page that you can uh, get to by swiping up and then here for the numbers if you want to know there are uh, oh, I mean we will be using smart layout no, 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 smart layout no smart animation for these so they will uh, nicely animate between their state states so uh, if you don't know, every layer that is uh, that has the same name between frames will be animated if you're using smart animation. And here I have the current page layer here, which will be animated to move into the always into the next uh, like number. So it will animate nicely. <coughs> so we should probably start building the prototype here. So we're gonna start by creating a frame which is exactly the same size as the screens, like so. And then this is not actually going to be a screen, but instead a container for our uh, like gesture areas. And we want to actually change the background color to something that we can actually see and lower the opacity to something like uh, maybe 40 is good and then this is going to be called gestures <coughs> and inside here we're gonna create more of these areas so we can create another identical sized frame and then from here we can actually remove the background because we don't want we don't need it to be there to have any color and then we will move it to 0x 0y so it's here I will just quickly yeah it's here as you can see and then this we're gonna call drag no drag let's start from next uh, area like so so this will be the area that triggers the swiping next so from one to two and then we need to create three more of these areas because we want to be able to drag with uh, four way so then we're gonna uh, duplicate this and call this drag previous Oops, previous area, and then the next one will be a uh, drag. Should I call it drag up for details? So maybe drag details, details, yeah. And then the last one will be drag dismiss. Oops, dismiss. So, so it would be when you drag down and you dismiss the model. Okay, and next up we can drag this inside of our first first model. Oh, oh, actually, we may want to just copy it here, so it's easier to copy it into the uh, remaining uh, frames. So you drag it here and make sure it's zero x zero y. This the whole screen and then 
Uh, where are you? There. Now we want to actually lock the layer because if you don't lock it and you make changes to this, so I'll actually actually quickly show you. If you want to make changes to a, to the layout and you drag something in, it will go into the gesture area. Well, in, in this case, to the next area, and we don't want that. So we're going to lock the gestures container and this way it doesn't go inside of these even if no matter what you do here or drag here so they will remain just there and out of sight and they will be there okay so now we want to just duplicate this into all of these frames so i'll catch you in a soon Okay, so now we have all the uh, gesture areas in place and now we're going to start building the prototype. So the first step is to connect the open model button and we will be using on tap and then we want to use move in, is this the correct one? Yeah, move in. So now when we click here, it will open here. And actually, at this point, we can remove the overlay color from the just two areas because it's a little bit distracting at the moment. So I'll do that quickly. Okay, and now we can start making the uh, just two area connections. So from the page one, actually, let's first try the dismiss. So select, um, let me just make a little bit more room here. Select the drag dismiss area, go to the prototype. And then actually we're, we should first select the model one. And from there, just uh, drag dismiss. Okay, thank you. And then drag it into the intro screen and then instead of on tap use on drag and then not smart animate alone but then we want the move out and to down is out is okay 300 milliseconds is okay but you want to select smart animate layers matching layers and now let's see yep we can dismiss it works really nicely so, next up, let's connect the uh, remaining areas. So, uh, hide that. Chisters. And let's do the details next. So, select the uh, drag details area. Drag to the details screen. Use on drag. And now, instead of move out, we want to use push and up. Because we will need to move up obviously and uh, keeps the smart anime layers checked let's see if it works seems to be working really nicely so now let's go back to here to detail screen and connect the uh, dragging down so we can get back back to the previous uh, screen so from here more one details we want to go to uh, select drag details over here and here it's reversed we just go back to up instead of on tap use on drag push and this time it's gonna be down like that let's see it works cool so now we can go to more one and then connect the swiping next register so model one a drag drag next area like so and drag this push 
and then because we want because we want to move to the right we need to use the left direction animation here like so and then we might want uh, we want to do the model 2 screen and connect the god damn it these are open uh, connect the drag previous area like so and use on drag and push and the other direction and it's more animated so now this should be working so I'll uh, I'll do the remaining horizontal actions and get back to you in a second and now the horizontal uh, navigation is hooked up as you can see and I also noticed that I kind of misspelled the word drag in all of this so I also updated these to say drag instead of drag oops well anyway let's continue now we currently have the dismiss only on number one so we should probably add it to all of the main screens here so let's select the second model and uh, drag this miss area to the intro on drag and then move out like this let's see if it works yes it's good the model model 3 screen drag this miss connect here on drag uh, move out is out yeah like this this is really repetitive you can skip ahead if you feel like this is too boring but this is the last one so please don't uh, move out is out yes this sh should be right number 3 works number 4 works okay so now we just have to connect the detail screens well actually i will fast forward this for you so just a second okay so now all the connections are uh, hooked up the basic connections and it's done here if uh, you're okay with the only having uh, one way to drag here no you can't swipe uh, from the detail screen to the next one which if this was an actual application would be actually quite nice so you read the details and then go to the next one so to do that it's actually the same as hooking up the main screens here but now we just uh, select the drag next area and connect to the next model screen and use on drag as you come to learn the next one and like so so let's repeat the same steps to do the meaning drag next model screen on drag this way it's more animate should work yes but you should also connect the track previous area from here so let's just do that real quick like on drag push on this time here yes works goes to number three number one yes okay cool and i'll just quickly add it the same thing to the rest rest of these detail screens <laughs> all right so we are done here now we have built the entire oops prototype uh, so now we have the model opening we have details we can swipe up to get back to the main screen we can swipe from the details to the next main screen we can swipe between the main screens and yeah we can swipe to the previous main screen from the details and we can dismiss the model i hope you really enjoyed this tutorial and if you did please leave a like and consider subscribing down below but now 
it's your turn to put these new figma skills into use. And until next time, goodbye!